Hello everyone, this is David from Gold Star Tool today. And uh, it's David from Gold Star Tool. And today we are going to uh, showcase a new tech GC-9920D. Double needed post bed sewing machine, a beauty. Look at this. This is a uh, post bed and you guys pretty much know what are post bed by now. From my videos, you know what is post bed or um, sewing machine are made for. Post bed is when you wanna put something inside that you need this uh, male part to go in, like a shoe or a cap and um, anything that has to sit in something so you could sew it. A lot of uh, car seats and, you know, uh, the sofa, stuff like that for armrests and stuff needs a, um, um, needs a sewing machine like this. So. The good thing about this machine is that this is two needle and it's a roller. It is like almost a free motion uh, sewing machine. So when you want to turn, there is no feed dog on the bottom or there is no foot on the top to hold the fabric. You pretty much, you are very, very easily could uh, um, maneuver and um, free motion the, uh, whatever project that you're doing. Okay, so the machine is sitting on a regular table, 42 by 20, uh, on a T-leg, this machine, on a K-leg, I'm sorry, this machine E direct drive, meaning that the the motor is right here. This is the motor of the machine, and obviously uh, this is the control box, and it's two needle. Now, the two needle uh, machines, when it comes to roller food and post bed, the max, at least the one I have seen is 316, meaning the space between the uh, the two needles are 316. And that's very, you know, normal and common, and I tell you why. I have, uh, let me just, I have uh, did some research, and I saw a lot of people that do, uh, and I'm trying to release the tension here and get the thread out. People that do a lot of this beautiful stitching they don't do it in quarter. Quarter is very wide. I mean, imagine you're doing shoes, if you're doing bags, and you're doing caps, something. Usually it's not, I mean, most of the time, 99% of the time, it is not a quarter inch. So um, re let's talk about the machine. The machine is, again, as I said, is a direct drive machine. Uh, uh, automatic bobbin winder. The machine comes with thread stand, LED lamp, everything that you need. Um, regular finger foot, uh, and then you have the needle. The needle is 135 by five. And this is the sample from the factory. Just want to take a look. You get a bunch of screwdrivers. You get the pad for the leg. So if there is any shaking, which there is not shaking. These machines are not the one that will shake. Um, it used to be that you used to have these big, huge, monster, monster motors on the machine. We used to call them clutch motors. They are the ones that really shake the building. If you had 20 of them in a building, the, the building would be shaking. Now we could have hundreds of this machine. No one even knows that you are doing a swing. But in case, these are the pads, rubber pads that goes on the bottom of the legs that makes the machine uh, don't shake. And LED lamp, as I said, but here, uh, I am using a nylon thread, our own nylon thread from NewTek. If you go to our website, we have 69, 138, and 207. Um, and here, for you guys to see, look at this. One and two. You have two bobbins, two bobbin caps, two hooks. This is the system. And you have a roller foot right here. So um, I'm not gonna get into the details of this. I'm not gonna touch anything here. Um, this is about seven inch. The diameter is about uh, nine, nine and a half inch. And here is about 20 inch. I know already this one because I measured it. So um, before, um, okay. When you get the machine, um, I wanna know where the oil goes and 
I'm gonna figure out in two minutes. Let me see if there is a pump system here. Um, I'm gonna reset. No pump system. So it could be that this machine doesn't even need oil. It's one of those, you know, machine that doesn't need oil. Okay, so this is a knee lifter. I'm gonna turn on the machine. Again, the machine is a direct drive, meaning no motor, no belt. And this is a knee lifter. I'm gonna bring the foot up and I'm going to down. Ooh. This is a very thick material, by the way, look at that. Four layer of uh, one, two, three, four, five layers, or even some places, six layers. See, when I tell you free motion, that's what I mean. You could go left and right, and you are not going to, it's free motion. Imagine you're going around patches, you're doing patches, and you want to do double needle patches. You don't want a quarter inch gauge patch between the, uh, I mean, around the patches. Ah, beautiful. And very easy, you could turn, look. Ooh. Look at it, you could have never done that with a regular um, sewing machine, double needle, something that a feet, because the feed dog and the foot, they hold the fabric. Those are made only for a straight. Nothing that you could easily go left and right. You could give design. Look at that. Double layer, double needle. A great, great, great sewing machine. So I was saying, and you guys probably gonna hate me by doing this, but uh, I'm gonna just show you guys. Imagine these are all beautiful new take. Cap, look at that, beautiful. So um, imagine you wanna go ahead and um, see, that's the way it's going to be. Just go ahead and if you want it to sew, right? And then take it out. Where is my quijera? Let me get my scissor. Right. All right. Yeah, this is something that I did, and I'm not a sewer. Look at that. By the way, this is the back. This is the front. Look, I just you know, a design. So it's a free motion. Um, let's see. I think this machine should have a reverse, and I am going to try. Um, what are these things here? Let's see. Uh, oh, that was my Speed and direction. To rotate the direction is on this one, and this is two different modes, and this is the speed. I think faster, slower, that's how it is. Okay, now, I wanted to know what it is. Let's see. I think it's the reverse, but... I'm going to check right now. See if you just want to go. No, that's not reverse. I think it's a block or something. Um, okay, this machine doesn't have reverse, but this machine has a needle positioning system. And the, the paper that comes with it will show you definitely the, um, show you how to do the um, reverse or do the, I'm sorry, the needle positioning. You see the, imagine you wanna go here. I hope you guys know that this is very important really that's how we're gonna be doing a, with no other sewing machine you could do this. You need a post bed. And I could guarantee you this machine has a needle positioning system, I just have to figure out the mode. So either the needle stays down or stays up, but uh, 
tell me. What do you think? I tried. Nice? Here you go. That's, uh, that's what they use a port pin. Imagine there was a patch here. That's how you're gonna go around the patch. Double needle, 316 gauge, roller foot, free uh, motion. A great sewing machine, love it. Call me if you have any question. Um, it's a great, great sewing machine. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna do more and more videos for you guys as we go on. Uh, Some of it's been a little bit um, hot, no? And uh, we don't get to do this often. But again, David from Gold Star Tool, thank you for watching and let me know what other videos you want me to do for you. Have a pleasant, pleasant, wonderful day.